This is my Phillips Body Groom 7000 in actual use. I'm just showing you the adjustable length guard if you want to cut hair in different lengths. I don't need to, so I usually just use a shaver to shave my belly and chest for uh, laser hair removal. And, uh, so here I am shaving it at the shortest length possible with the uh, dog clippers part. Um, it actually worked all right. Um, not quite as good as uh, my $10 pair of uh, dog clippers that I use to shave my head. But uh, it still did a fairly decent job if you want an all-in-one body, body shaver. Um, as far as that goes, um, it did okay. It got the job done. There's uh, the attachment that the other end that's actually facing towards the, the mirror is the uh, foil shaver. You can flip around. And use that one after you're done with the dog clippers and it shaves it really close to your skin but I'll get to that in a little bit but anyways you get the drift um, this part came out alright but a normal set of dog clippers works better but obviously they're not the all-in-one shaver like this one is I'll go ahead and fast forward to the rest of this and show my uh, dog clippers in action This is where I switch over to my normal dog clippers just to compare. Uh, these are the dog clippers I use to shave my head oh, every two weeks. And uh, they're only $10. I've had them for years as far as the dog clipper part of the Phillips Project Groom 7000. These ones, uh, my Conair pair, cheap pair, they worked way better as far as that goes. But of course, they don't have the all in one shaver. Um, if it was me, I would just get the cheap pair of dog clippers like I have and then uh, invest in a tinfoil razor instead of uh, spending money on the Phillips Body Groom 7000. But if you want the all-in-one shaver, I will go ahead and uh, fast forward this and get to the part where I use the, the tinfoil razor on the uh, Phillips Body Groom 7000. This is where I use the uh, tin foil razor to actually finish the shaving job on my chest and belly. This is the part that actually shaves really close to the skin. So if you shave large parts of your body, the Phillips 7000 body groomer is definitely worth the investment because you can just flip around and use the other, other end of the razor. It even has two separate power buttons for each end. And uh, it does shave extremely close to the skin, so if you're not into using a straight razor. Otherwise, um, overall, I would rather just use my cheap $10 Conair dog clippers and then just switch over to a straight razor because it just just actually a lot smoother. I use the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide 5 blade razor. I don't quite remember the name of it, but it has a AAA battery and you just get a really close, smooth shave with it. But uh, between my dog clippers and my razor handle versus the Phillips Body Groom 7000, it's pretty close. So um, overall, you can hopefully you can kind of tell how close it's shaving on my, my chest there. It's getting really close to the skin, pretty much the same as a razor handle. So um, I would definitely buy it. It's definitely worth the money. You're not going to beat it as far as an all-in-one razor. It's just got that huge advantage of being able to use the dog clippers in and just switching right over to the tinfoil razor to shave against your skin. This is me using the actual Phillips Body Groom 7000 on my face because it is called a uh, shaver and trimmer. And, uh, I mean, it's it's worth it because it, it does get the job done on my face, but uh, it doesn't work near as good as uh, my tin foil razor that I use, which is a uh, Panasonic Arc Precision. It uh, my Panasonic Arc's a shaver and a trimmer too. It's just not built for shaving large area of your uh, body. It's more for trimming a beard. But uh, 
overall this one's definitely a safe investment for the overall trimmer i'm sure there's a better one out there this one's really convenient again probably said it a few times already just because you can flip it back and forth so quick between the tinfoil razor and the dog clippers uh, it's definitely a good all-in-one razor it did kind of grab my face a little bit so um I, d I would rather just have separate razors for different kinds of jobs than this all-in-one razor but if you're just if you just absolutely have to have an all-in-one razor this one is uh definitely good enough to do a good job just not as good as separate razors for individual jobs but if you want convenience over switching between razors this is definitely worth it but uh there's definitely better razors out there for your face but uh it is hard to beat it for um shaving your body in general so there you go i'll go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the video so i don't bore you to death watching me shave